Cool. I'm at WordCamp Europe. Uh, my name is Andrew Taylor with Pantheon, and I'm joined by my great friend. I'm Ash Lissa. Yeah, maintainer of WPCLI. And so, uh, what excites you about WordCamp Europe that you wanted to be here in person? Uh, so first of all, WordCamp Europe is the place to be if you want to meet uh, a very diverse group of uh, awesome people. So um, that's uh, awesome in its own right. And also this year I don't have any obligations, I don't have any talks or so. So after this Contributor Day is done, I can just enjoy the event. Oh, isn't it awesome? Yeah. Yeah. In Berlin, have you been before? I have been here uh, a lot of times and Berlin has a special place in my heart because actually here it uh, clicked between my wife and me. So. Oh, congratulations. So yeah, a little um, a special memory. Yeah. 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 Sure, yeah. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, I've never been before. I did a bike tour yesterday and it was a lot of fun. Got to yeah. see the city, get some exercise. So and Nice. Yeah, yeah, lots of history. It's fantastic. Wasn't it too hot? It's pretty hot. It was very hot. Yeah. But yeah, uh, so WPCLI, um, I know you've got some funding, like Pantheon sponsored, other folks as well. What has that meant for like you and the project and what are you excited about that you can do with uh, this time you have to contribute? Yeah, so I, uh, I'm hugely grateful for, um, for the sponsors that have come through, like Pantheon, um, because a project like WPCLI uh, is a critical piece of infrastructure. It needs uh, regular maintenance just to keep working, especially now that the WordPress core is frequently changing. Um, there's uh, breaking changes uh, between WordPress core and WPCLI all the time, so it needs constant updating. And uh, having uh, a sponsorship uh, like this um, allows um, allows me to work uh, regularly and reliably on the tool to make sure that it uh, stays functional and allows me to do that in a sustainable way. Yes. Um, because um, although I love open source, I'm a big believer in uh, doing everything sustainably so that you can uh, do it for long term and not just do it for two years and turn out. And uh, it's just that with, with everything you do, there's a cost attached. Yes. And it's awesome if companies like Pantheon help to cover that cost instead of the open source contributors needing to cover that cost with their health or their family relationships and so on. I agree. Especially a tool like WPCLI that so many people use, it's important that it be community funded and not everything on your shoulders or a few contributors are yes. maintainers. So, um, actually, I showed WPCLI to a lot of people, and most people have heard about it, and they can like plug in list or activate or something, but there's so many more commands. So, yes. what are some of the things WPCLI can do that most people don't know about? So, the, the few big ones that are less obvious and, and are huge wall moments when, when you show people. One is that you can control uh, sites remotely, you can do so through aliases, and you can group aliases. So you can actually remotely control entire groups of WordPress sites, so that's a big one. Um, another big one is uh, the shell, uh, which you can just, uh, you just type WP shell, and you're inside a dynamic, uh, uh, an interactive PHP shell, where the WordPress process with all the plugins and themes is already running, and you can just hack at WordPress functions and just try uh, whatever you want, uh, actually use uh, the plugins interactively and so on, and uh, that's a huge help for development. And uh, finally, which uh, we saw, uh, that's a big one that uh, people fail to notice, there's a global parameter called dash dash prompt, and whenever you're unsure about how the parameters work, you just use whatever command and then dash dash prompt, and then it, it will ask you this, the individual parameters one by one. And you can then even combine this, you can provide some of them, and then attach prompt to get the rest. And if you do that in scripts, you can do something like um, do a, a WP uh, call install with all of the parameters pre-filled except for the password and add prompt. So when someone runs the script, they are prompted for the password and the rest is already prepared. I uh, show people scaffold a lot. 
Yeah, so if you're going to create a new plugin or a theme, you can scaffold those and even Gutenberg blocks. If you're yes. going to create a, a plugin for a Gutenberg block, you can scaffold files to start from instead of having to do it from scratch. Mm -hmm. It's one I show people. So, yes. yeah, tons of useful stuff. Mm -hmm. the, the scaffolding is actually one of my focus areas right now to rethink because um, I think that it has served an ad hoc educational role. But oftentimes, the code that it produces is how we used to do stuff. Now, not how we're supposed to do stuff in the future. So it's important for me to rethink this and really make it a purposeful uh, educational tool that uh, teaches proper best practices. Not only the WordPress way, but as you actually want to do it in a maintainable way, even outside of it. So um, I think that uh, the scaffolding tool can serve this role as a, an educational tool that establishes de facto conventions in the WordPress space. And I want to work on making a better job of actually teaching the writing. Just as an example, you can easily scaffold unit tests uh, with, with the scaffolding tool, but those are not unit tests. They are unit tests for WordPress core. But as soon as you put them in a plugin, they are not actually unit tests. Great, yeah, well that's an awesome way for people to get started too and even just run unit tests and if they run the core test, they get familiar with how to do unit tests and then they can research and explore how to add them to their own yeah, projects as well. Great, well thank you very much for the time. I'm looking forward to the rest of the camp and I'm sure we'll be seeing you around. Thank for you for the nice conversation yeah. and uh, thank you uh, Pantheon. Uh, for joining the ranks of Fondos for WPCLI. Uh, it's not only gratitude, it's not only from my side, but from all the users that I can rely on the tool. Well, we rely on the tool. Which is yeah, it makes sense to sponsor. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, cheers.